Good day. This video is just of making some aluminium spaces, but I've included some drawings and some simulation of the software that's used to run the machine. That's a drawing of the part. You see it's got 0.5 chamfers on the corners, on the external corners, and they're 0.7 on the drawing that I created to take in as a DXF to the software that Hercus provide that runs this machine. It's also CAD CAM. I only use the CAM part of it. The little bits sticking out that you see at the bottom there so that the rapids go up to there and they don't bump into the actual material. This is the standard size that the part is shown at to simulate but you can zoom in so if you're using the CAD side of things you can get a better idea of what you're looking at. I'll just zoom this in now and we'll have a look at it running slightly larger. You can zoom in quite a lot with this and it just gives you a better idea of what's happening if there's something causing a problem. Yes, that's the CAD menu on the right. I don't use it. I can't draw in this software. I have, I, being a draftsman, I have my own software that I use for drawing. So I use that, and then I bring a DXF in. There's no tool change in this actual code, and when you simulate this without a tool change, this is what happens. It brings the drill back again because it still thinks you're using the same tool that you were using before. This lathe is a Hercus PC200 CNC lathe. Um, they were made in South Australia in the 90s. As that's DOS based software, you can tell it was way before Windows 95. 2112 RPM. That's the speed that was suggested by the chart I used with speeds and feeds on it, so that's exactly what I used. Yes, after I'd finished the video, I upped the speed a bit to 0.07 and the chatter was decidedly less. There is spray coming out of that nozzle. You can't see it, but it's there. Have a look at this. You see it makes the paper damp. That's how fine it is. 2011 machine grade aluminium. Works beautifully. That tooling block is screwed and doweled to the carriage, so I know it always goes back on in the same place. Can't use it for some jobs, gets in the way. So that delay there is the spindle speeding up to 3000 from 2112. Yes, and that is a no-go unit, that spray mister. They are expensive, but they work. As you saw, it was really out putting a spray, not blobs and all sorts of things. That's the code for that particular parting tool. If you decide to use that code, please make sure you're getting exactly what you want that suits you. And that's just pulling the material out to the insert, gently so as not to damage it. And there's the finished parts finish is not too bad I think for the parting and thank you for watching